Good evening. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the video room. Welcome back, everybody. If you're brand new, hello. My name is John. Thank you for tuning in tonight's video. And the time now is 8.50 p.m. evening time here, Eastern Standard Time, in the beauty room. And make sure you turn on and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload from the beauty room. And right next to it is the is the subscribe button so make sure you hit that subscribe button please tell your family and friends all about the beauty room and if they are considering subscribing tell them thank you so 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 much thank you all for just tuning in and out of your busy schedule spending a few moments with me in each and every video i appreciate you all so much to the moon and back you all are my family god bless you and if you hit that if you just hit that subscribe button welcome welcome to the beauty room thank you all so much for who you are and for who you all are someday one day we will meet each other i pray in a meet and greet i would love to meet you all just to see you all's faces it'll be such a wonderful blessful thing someday one day the lord is working on me and on my channel i just thank god each and every single day for you all thank you all so so much for watching all of my videos giving them a huge like thumbs up and subscribing and turning on your notification bells and also make sure you sit back relax watch this video Grab yourself something to drink, a snack, take notes if you like to see if you like these products. But if you are considering trying something different and getting out of your comfort zone, when you do apply it to your eyebrows, you definitely can. You can check them out at Walmart or at Target, okay? So, let's get started. So, what I always do is, this is like an updated eyebrow to eyebrow tutorial for 2024 and today it is Tuesday so it's practical Tuesday here in the beauty room yes Tuesday practical Tuesday so I just want to let you know um like before I get started I make sure my uh, my face is definitely clean and my, I make sure my eyebrows is also clean no product on them or anything on my eyelids I make sure they're very clean well and you can definitely after you, you after you're done cleaning your face you can definitely take some makeup remover wipes I gotta get some this week um, you can definitely get some like take a one or two makeup wipe removers just to get anything any product that you have onto your eyebrows your eyelids and your whole entire face make sure your face is um, totally clean so this is just a brow spoolie from shop miss a and this is just like a dollar so if you were a beginner in makeup and you just started to learn about makeup on watching a few other youtubers you know like beauty creators and um these are just a dollar so definitely check out www.shopmissa.com i'll leave it in the description box below and all the products that i've used in tonight's video so make sure you definitely check that out like i said you can get them at your local target or walmart or www.shopmissa.com -S 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 so let's get started so all you gotta do is just take your spoolie and just make sure when you have your spoolie just make sure it's like this kind of bent down just a little bit so that way you can pull your eyebrows up like your eyebrow hairs up so that way they make sure they're up like that so if you need any like guideline when you do apply you know everything else products to your eyebrows you definitely can so i just want to make sure that was in my hair so yes and i just got doing my hair like last week and it's just like in a cute little bun that i mostly wear it especially when i get out the shower you know so yeah at night and also in the morning so yeah so i'll do a video this week on to let you know of what products that I use, you know, for my morning skincare routine. That it will be up tomorrow. I think that would be a good video. I gotta just put it in my YouTube notebook so I can remember to do a video about that. So, with me doing my eyebrows, if I want to do them like really neat and extremely taking my time, I it usually takes me about like a half an hour to do my eyebrows. Um, not perfectly but you know to me 
not perfectly, but just a good, you know, taking my time. Because that's what you're supposed to do when you apply your makeup, you know, if you're not going to work or whichever. And I'm going to do a tutorial too on like a 15 minutes of work makeup tutorial as well this coming week. So it's going to be some new um, videos that I want to do for you all to keep you all entertained and um, tuned in so yeah so what you gotta do is just make sure you can always use your fingers too your fingers can also be your tool so when you when I do my eyebrows this is how I do I make sure all the hairs are definitely pulled up with using my spoolie I don't take too much time with using my spoolie but I like to take my time I want to make sure all my eyebrows hair is up and I also have a mirror right here so make sure you have sorry make sure you have a mirror with you right next to you onto your beauty stand so just look at your mirror make sure everything is looking good and it is so then you're going to take your this is from wet and wild this is like about a dollar or maybe two check out it maybe at your local walmart mm, let's see what other store can i think of Walmart and oh five below so they may have it at your local five below and this is the wet and wild um, pencil this is in 603a this is in dark brown this is like an eyeliner but I use it for my eyebrows just to line my eyebrows you know together and then I'll use another product so I'll show you that in just a few minutes so it's very sharpened very well again this is the wet and wild 603 a by wet and wild eyeliner but you can also check like your like i said your local walmart or five below or any or like cvs or walgreens you know see if they have the wet and wild beauty products definitely make sure so while i look in my mirror i'm gonna still be talking but this is just what i do so i can you know keep myself focused on doing my eyebrows so what you want to do is take your mirror here and what you want to do is you don't want to well like at the bottom part you can I you know line it like out just a little bit tab it just to like right here this is just this is your guideline okay so this is your guideline so this is how you're going to you know do your eyebrows so I um, you want to get that mark off your so I'm sorry so you can put a mark like right there if you want just to give you like a like a like a guideline like that so that way you know where to go and where to stop but I'm gonna show you a trick so but if you have your own particular way of how you want to do your eyebrows definitely go for it you know whichever is easiest and simple for you and this like if you have to go to work or if you are gonna go out and you know, out and about taking care of uh, running errands taking care of business you know whichever going to the post going to the post office excuse me that's where I gotta go to this week yeah, because I got to mail my grandmother her gift that I supposed to be, well, I got her, like, another gift. So, I already mailed that gift to her from three, four years ago. I already mailed that off to her. So, she so she received that about, uh, about a month ago. So, thank God for that. But I want to get her another gift, you know, you know, because I'm, I'm so busy with my life now. You know, not too busy now, but... I was before you know I always give her a call so I got to give her a call this um like this evening just to check up on her so what you want to do is with you with the pencil from wet and wild you want to give yourself a guideline just kind of go real lightly as you do it and then you want to connect it to like right here so you want to stop with the pencil about like right here okay so this video may be up tonight or it may be up tomorrow morning because Hamilton gets off work after six o'clock in the morning so this video if it's not up tonight and today is June 25th 2024 it is a Tuesday practical Tuesday and yes and it's this evening I'm doing this video so I started like at 8 40 like 8 47 or 8 49 so yeah so this evening so if it's not up tonight it'll be up to early tomorrow morning so when you which one do is just guide it guide the pencil but make sure you look at your mirror okay 
okay and you want to just stop about like right there because that's where I like to stop at because see how it's like right there you don't want to go too far you want to just go like right above here right above your eye or shape that or however your eye is just stop like right above here okay so now this is how I do it so but this is how I've been doing it since before I even started my YouTube channel so I just go along like right here in the middle I don't go up like right up here but I and if I do I'll just pencil it in so I just go up like above right here I just look in the mirror take my time and you want to just shape it like with your eyebrow just like that okay so that's just how you can do it so we're gonna go to the other eye well no we'll, we'll wait so we can get this other eye brow done okay so then I'm taking the NYX um, brow pencil not brow yeah brow pencil this is from NYX and this was about $10.99 so check out your local Walmart or your Target and they should have this but they have it in that, in that skinnier one that I showed you a few weeks ago when I went to Target for the third time um, it's about $10.99 or $11.99 but I, just, yeah, but I think it's like $10.99 but this is like the original one though this is the one I absolutely love this is like my best friend but you can also get the one that they have now but it's in a skinnier package it's in a black box that looks like this but the pencil is like real skinny you can also you know do your eyebrows with that so I'm gonna just take what I have here and I really love using this because you know it has where you can go up like that or down like that just to get enough product on your um to your eyebrow sorry Hamilton playing his Hamilton is playing his video game with his buddies and his best friend before he goes to work that's just like that's like his relaxation time to himself you know and me I'm just watching you know TV and stuff so <laughs> but I wanted to do a video because I don't want to miss out on doing on doing my videos for you all because um, I'm hoping I'm doing you all proud um, I'm very proud of myself for sticking with with these videos and being more um, being more consistent with making these videos for you all and I just love to do what I do. I have a passion for it. And I want to be able to be successful with my YouTube channel. But anyway, but we'll get to that one in another video another time. But let's get back into the eyebrow tutorial. That's what you're here for. So I hope you are having a delicious snack. Watching this video. Learning about how to do your eyebrows. So then I'll do another video too. Also as well on how to do your eyebrows for work. You know before you go to work so that would be another tutorial pretty soon so that will be that'll be coming up pretty soon so you see how I did with the pencil I just stayed like right there so you just do it like that now you just take this just above like right there and then you pencil it in with this because that's how you'll get your if you don't have like in much any hair you know any brow hair use this pencil or you can use the the wet and wild just to shape it and then you can pencil it in with the eyebrow with the eyebrow pencil from wet and wild that's like a dollar or two you know so you just pencil it in but just make sure you get it very very well of how you like it see and that is above like right there that's how I like it it's not as thick it's just right so then I'm going to take some more and put the more products on here. Okay, and then that's it. That's how I do my brow. So we're going to do this side here. Oh, and also too by NYX. Definitely, I forgot to put this on my eyebrows, but you can definitely put this um, eyebrow, um, the eyebrow glue onto your eyebrows. I meant to tell you that. Definitely do that before you apply any of your eyebrow products. Make sure you use this. This is about like $9.99 or maybe more. And this does last for about six months. So you can definitely put this onto your 
your your eyebrows you know to make sure if you have thick eyebrows your hairs won't go anywhere they'll stay in place so okay definitely put this on after you spoolie your eyebrows you know in the upper position make sure you definitely use this and this is about like 9.99 at target or walmart so check that out I love using it. I, I've been having that for about the past three months now. I love it. This is almost almost gone. That's how much I've been using this product. So I love it. So now I'm going to do the same thing as we did to this brow here. But sometimes your eyebrows may not be the exact same. So yeah. But like I said, take your time as you do your eyebrows. So this is like sometimes this one will give me like problems sometimes. But this left one. It's my best friend, but sometimes this gives me a headache with my eyebrows. But you just take your time, be patient with your, you know, with your, with using your eyebrow products. You know, that's the only thing I could tell you. Just take, just take your time. You know, it's no rush. You know, if you're going somewhere, somewhere, or you're about to go somewhere with you and your girls, about to go have lunch, or you're gonna have a girl stay to go shopping. You know, and you want to look cute. You know, you want to have your face all did up, especially your eyebrows. Yeah, I say. Like, there are some days I don't care when Hamilton and I have to go and take care of business, you know, or run errands. I look as is just like this. But sometimes I may put on just a little bit of makeup, not too much. So, this one may be kind of tricky onto your right. So, sorry if you can see my my makeup bins. That's from, and those, from, those bins are also from... Michael's craft store they're like the color five tier um bins with them with the metal handles they were about thirty dollars but with fifty to seventy five percent off they were like twenty twenty like twenty twenty dollars I think each so I got two of them at the same time and I got the third one later on like a month or two later because that's how much makeup I had at the time but I got rid of some makeup last year 2023 and I forgot to do a video of that, but I was just in a, a mood where I just wanted to get rid of it, you know, because I used it on my face and I didn't want to take it to like a thrift store, you know, and give them that used makeup. So I just decided just to throw it away because, and then plus I didn't want to give it to my friends either because that was on my face because that's unsanitary to do. I mean, that's not a, that's a bad thing to do when you give friends your makeup that you have put on your face where you did it with your fingers you just throw it away okay yeah so we're gonna get right into this eyebrow here so what I do is for me just to get it as precise as this one I just close my eyelid and I just take my time and I can still look it with this eye so And then you just take your time. Sorry, it looks kind of look crazy, but hopefully it don't for you. <laughs> so, but you want to make sure that it's matched just as like how it is, like the front. But if it's not, start all over, wipe it off with your makeup remover wipe, and start over. Because sometimes with me being in a rush sometimes, you know. But Hamilton doesn't rush me. But, you know, if I'm in a rush for myself, I take forever. So, let me hurry up because it's about almost... 20 minutes toward this video. I don't want to make it too long for you all. Okay. And you want to just stop like right there. A little bit more. Okay. So. I want to make sure it's even just as is. Take a look at it. And it's very even. Very good. So you want to do the top like you did the bottom. But not put the pencil part. So you want to just trace your eyelid. Of how your eyelid is. Okay, but if you have thin, barely hair on, you know, trace it really good, you know, to your precise, to your persistence. Okay, and I just did my eyebrows just a few days ago. So, I try to, every other week, you know, look at my eyebrows to make sure I got to, like, tweeze them or whichever or shave them with a, well, with the eyebrow a pencil, you know, to make sure they are shaved good and the right, you know, size. So, yeah. I do some maintenance to myself every other week. So you want to just go up like above, like right here. Just take your time. And you want to just draw it in. And you want to connect. So of how you connect your eyebrow, just connect it. When you go up like that, like that, 
and you can do that as well just connect it and if you don't know how to really shape your eyebrows they have eyebrow tensils where it comes with the kit where it comes with the um it comes with the spoolie the eyebrow tensils um yes um yes tensils um yeah tensils and it also comes with the pencil and it comes with the eyebrow spoolie sometimes it'll come with that uh, with the tweezer as well so if i were you i would definitely get some extra tweezers you know from walmart target um dollar tree you know have tweezers too but if you want like really good precise ones check out your local walmart or target check online first to see which you know store has them cheaper whichever and go to that store or you can also call um target and see if they can hold you know some items for you but i think they do i'm, I'm really not for sure so but so now you have it as how you like it right so just like that okay so now i have it just how i want it so i am done with using my i with using my pencil from wet and wild set that aside now i take my nyx brow pencil and i just draw it in and you just draw the hairs because now see how they look just alike so yeah, it don't take too long to me to do this sometimes it do but other days you know it don't come out as good but that's okay so now that I'm done doing that I just take this product I don't need this anymore because sometimes with the with the NYX with NYX um, brow pencil they have this brush here where you can brush it or you can use your spoolie but this is softer and this is kind of hard but either or products you want to use so this is from shop miss a this is just a dollar you could definitely build up your own makeup brushes from shop miss a and i just definitely just take my uh my brush that i use from nyx brow pencil and i just brush them in so it can have that type of shape you know that i want not too much of a square but just barely a square you can barely see the products you know onto my eyebrows you know that's just how i do my eyebrows like i said sometimes it'll take me at least like a half an hour to get them precise so yeah and just take your time so you'll definitely want to definitely use this eyebrow glue you know so you can before you put the products on your products your pencil your brow pencil whichever you definitely want to make sure you have this onto your eyebrows and then let it sit and let it you know sit for just a few a seconds and then brush it in because this comes with like with the little uh, with the little mini spoolie brush with the product inside of it so yeah okay so now how i got my eyebrows shaped and then i'll list all the products that i've used for my eyebrows so you definitely um get these products if you want to try them out whichever and or if you're totally new to makeup and this is how i definitely would use my concealer oh this concealer is is the covergirl concealer this is the covergirl concealer and let's see the shade oh boy the shade i want to say that i am in it's like a caramel type of nudish so every time when i do my eyebrows i make sure i use you just make sure you use a like two shades lighter than your skin tone if you're in my skin tone ladies use a like the two shades lighter of the concealer that's going to put onto your bottom of your eyebrows and then you can definitely put the like your skin tone of your complexion of your of your concealer or your foundation onto your eyebrows that's up to you because some people they don't put any uh, products onto their upper. They just put them on their bottom. So, you know, e either or will work for you best for you. But I like to put it onto my top and my bottom. But not the same pro uh, product. But tonight, I'm just using the same product onto my, I'm just onto my bottom. So, then you want to take your brow brush. This is the E114. This is for your eyes, but I use this for my eyebrows because see how thin this 
brush is and look how the angle is so yeah so you how you want to do this is just take this and just go like this Okay, so that's how you want to get the product on. So, um, this shade will, looks very, very good on to like the, like the, like onto the eyebrow part. It looks very good. So, I'm barely even using any product because I don't want to, when I apply my foundation, stuff like that, I want to make sure I use good enough product. So you want to just take a couple shades lighter of your concealer onto your bottom of your eyebrow and you want to push the product down. Push it down. Now you see me here doing it. Pushing the product down. You want to make sure also as well when you apply it at the end you want to make sure that you make sure you get that precise look at the end because you want that precise tail to your eyebrow. And that's how it is. So you take the product again that you have Oops. and then just make sure you got it right and just go like that. And you want to make sure your product is like right here because that's your guideline of how to get it really precise. So you want to have a thin line and then when you get here, a sticker because you want to, you know, get it like that. So let me show you. So you make sure you have that guideline right. Push it in all the way. And then like that because you're going to have the products like right underneath your eyebrow. So and then also you want to make sure when you get to here, you just make sure the product is a really good tail line of your eyebrow. Okay, and then you want to push it down. We can also use another makeup brush too to push the product down also as well. And like right above too, your eyebrow. I'm gonna make sure you just put just a little bit above here. Okay, just to get that precise tail. Okay, so yep. This is how I do my eyebrows and then I put on another concealer like a lighter concealer to my eyelids or when I'm done doing my eyebrows I make sure I put my foundation that's like not the same shade as my skin but I will use another concealer I mean yeah another foundation I'm sorry another I'm sorry wrong I apologize a foundation that's lighter than my skin tone or you could definitely use a concealer that's three shades lighter than your skin tone before you apply the rest of your makeup to your face. So it can be a two shades lighter underneath your eyebrow. But I like as you're putting some concealer on here to your eyelids. Because like sometimes with your eyelids they get kind of oily. Which is like right here. And you want to make sure that is a three shades lighter than your skin tone of of your complexion okay so that's how you apply it that's how you do it I've been doing it like that I've been doing it like this for some years now since um way before I had my YouTube channel because I would practice and practice and practice with me um doing my makeup you know so yeah so this is how I have my oops sorry <laughs> Okay, this is how I do my eyebrows. I hope it was a very good um, tutorial for you and you learned something. But this is how I have my eyebrows. So, um, they look about the same, but this one's like a little more thicker here. But that's okay, because, you know, nobody's going to totally look at my face like that much. But this looks good so I'm happy that it worked out but that's just that's just the, the products that I use for my eyebrow tutorial um, routine um, 
before I do a video and if I have to go somewhere with Hamilton or we go on a date or we got to run some errands, you know, take care of some things and bills and stuff like that. This is how I do my eyebrows because there is days I do not care how I look. I put on a hat, my hair down and I don't care about my eyebrows and no makeup. There's, but there's some days too that if we go out and we're going to go somewhere else or we're going to go out to lunch, I make sure I have myself presentable for myself and for him. So that's just how I do it. And then with the rest of my face, I do the rest of my face with, you know, with some makeup on, some eyeshadow on, yeah, things like that. And I polish my nails finally like about an about thirty minutes ago. I just got done um polishing my nails about thirty minutes ago. So I was doing that before I got on the video. So yeah, so I hope you all like this tutorial. Make sure you try out these products from Wet and Wild NYX and CoverGirl Concealer, which is all these products is very affordable. And definitely make sure you try out these brushes from Shop Miss A. I love this one, Shop Miss A. All my makeup brushes is from like 80% of it is from Shop Miss A, but the rest of the 20% of it is from Shein and also um, from T from Timu so it's from those three stores and then there's and it's from Walmart too as well and Target too uh, with makeup brushes so yeah this is the it, end of the video I hope you all um, will try these products you know if you want to do something different to your eyebrows you know to get them more precise definitely try these products it took me at least like I said a half an hour to do this but I wanted to make sure it's precise step by step for you all hope I gave you a good tutorial I hope you all can follow these um and inst not instructions but just look at what how I do my eyebrows and if you have it your own way and or if you are tired of the same products that you want to do something different to your eyebrows go for it buy these products at your local Walmart Target and yes God bless you all please stay safe stay encouraged dream big to the sky and I will see you all in the next video and I just want to say thank you so much you all um, spending your time with me and your few moments. God bless you all. Have a blessed and safe rest of your week to you, your significant other, and your children. God bless. Have a blessed summer. Bye.